Hello, hello, and we are back with some more Matthew R3. Right, so we're on our way to talk to Donovan. Oh, he's here actually. Now, in between episodes, I set up some wiretaps. Set one up in this district, this one. Uh, and another one, and I've got like all the collectibles, uh, so I've got like all the all the little scrap parts uh, that we need to make the like more wiretaps in the future, uh, and I got like all the record covers and collectibles from all of those. So I thought I'd do that sort of stuff, you know, in between episodes. Uh, let's just check. There's nothing else to do, is there? No. Ooh. Yeah, so Cassandra's got some kickback for me now, so every every so often I should get some money from her. Right now it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down. And all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. Right. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Right, Charlie. That's a lot of rednecks. Right. Remember that you previously wiretapped the church and it's a smack racket. Uh, because you've done this, you now have the option to kill the racket boss for some quick cash or recruit them for improved earn in the long run. So I am pretty much, oh my god, there's three sentries. I am pretty much going to try and... Uh, um, always recruit them, you know, just for the extra dollar. Alright, so that's the first chap. Here are. I am going to try and do it stealthy. Right. Really want to make sure I take these sentry guys down. Oh shit. Run that motherfucker out of here. Fuck. No, you fucking don't. Nice. Another sentry though somewhere. No, you don't. No. Almost had that. I just had to stop him making my call. Right, take two. <laughs> Fuck. 
Yeah, that guy who pulled up in the car really ruined that. If it weren't for him, it would have been smooth sailing. Oh no. Right. Chill here for a sec, see if that car comes. That's it. Come on, Maria. Come on. Nice. No, no car this time. We'll get some body armor. That'll help. Things go get pear shaped again. Right, no car still. Alright, let's try and flank. Oh yes. Heal. Heal. Right. I think we're alright. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right, so we've got full health again. A guy in here. Yeah. No! No! There we go, oh, fucking hell. How close. Oh my god. Oh fuck! What? What even happened then? A, where did they all come from? B, <laughs> why did just a little shove kill me? <laughs> oh. Right. Oh no. Right, take... Take three.
No car. Good. Hello. Attack armor again. Cool. Wait for him to go up there a bit. Oh, turn around. I mean, you can't come this way. There you go. Right. This guy has a bit of an issue, because he's right by the door. I wonder. I want to get that stealth kill on him. There we go. Okay. And you. There we go. Oh, they're moving, look. Right, okay. Guys on my phone in my next room. Hurry up. Hurry up. Fuck. Damn it. Right, this is going to be a bit more difficult now. Oh no. Alright. We got him, so cool. Wow. Okay, cool. We'll take that. Ooh, gunsmith improved accuracy. Okay. So, yeah. Sweet. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Awesome. I love uh, our gangs. Purple Cadillacs. Please state your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in 
the Central Intelligence Agency. From 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit <laughs> we did to those cocksuckers. Ah, <sighs> sorted then. Lovely. Reinforcements arrive. I don't think they're going to be able to do much now. Right, so my next story mission is to kill. Oh, what's this? Delray Hollow. Prey on the way up. Kill Richie Doucette. Right, well, I think we'll do that in the next episode, guys. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.